Okay, question number five from the specimen paper of Pure One, um, the new IAL syllabus. <clears throat> this is a topic that previously used to be in the um, C2 papers. Now it's moved to the P1, the new P1. Okay, so here we're told um, that this shape here is a design for a garden pond. The pond consists of the sector A, O, B, C, A. So it's this sector of the circle with center O and this triangle A, O, B joined together. Okay, so given that A, O and B, O are both three meters, so that's three meters here, and A, O, B is 1.25 radians, find the perimeter of the pond, giving your answer in meters to two different places. So the perimeter of the pond is, that the perimeter of a shape is the length of the outline. Now this outline has a straight line AB. Okay, so you have AB, which is the straight line. Okay, and you also have the length of this arc. So you have AB plus the length of this arc going all the way around. So you can say the length of the major arc. The length of the major arc going all the way around. Okay, from A, the long way around to B. Okay, so that will be the perimeter of this shape. So we have two things. We have a triangle and we have a, a sector of a circle, the arc of the sector. Okay, so let's try now work out the perimeter. Okay, so we have um, the triangle. Okay, which we know that this angle is 1.25 radians. And this length is 3 meters, and this length is 3 meters. And here we have AB, which we're going to call X. So our objective now is to find the length AB and then add it to the length of the, the arc going around. So let's first of all find this. Now what we can do, we can see here, we have two, a triangle in which we know two sides and the angle between the two sides. And we've got to find the third side, which is opposite the angle we know. And this is a case, of course, of the cosine rule. Although, as this is isosceles, there's also another way to do it. But I think I prefer this way. Okay. So you're going to find, you know, that x squared is equal to b squared, which is 3. So 3 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times 3 times the cosine of the angle 1.25. Now, this angle is in radians. This angle is in radians. Okay. As they tell us in the question. So you've got to make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Okay, so we take out the calculator and make sure that it's in radian mode. Okay, it is in radian mode. In case it isn't, you just press these buttons, go to angle unit and choose which unit you want. So we want two radians. It was already in radians anyway. So now, I'm going to find x. Now, x is going to be the square root of all of this. So it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared minus 2 times 3 times 3 times cosine of 1. 0.25 and there we have 3.5105 so that's x 3.5105 continues on and on that's not our final answer so I'm going to actually store this answer as a okay stored as a that way when I need to use it again I can have this exact answer here what we need to now find is the length of the arc a B okay but we want the major arc we can say A C B all right so what we need is we need we know that when the angles measured in radians the length of an arc is given by R theta the radius times the angle but it's not this angle that we need because that would give us the length of an arc over here it's the angle that subtends the arc we need which is this angle which is 360 minus this angle well 360 in terms of radius is 2 pi so it's 2 pi minus 1.25 360 degrees is 2 pi radians so the the theta we're going to use okay so you're going to have 3 as a length of the, as a as a radius and the angle we're going to use is 2 pi minus 1.25 Okay, sorry, the pen's messing up again. 2 pi minus 1.25, and that will give us the angle that is subtended by the major arc. So you're going to have 3 times 2 pi 
minus 1.25 close brackets that gives you 15.09955 15.099 and it continues on like that so therefore the perimeter is going to be the sum of those two so you're going to have 15.099 plus 3.5105 so I can just extract my exact answers this is the exact answer plus the answer that I stored away under A okay which will give you your answer 18.61 so the perimeter is 18 point six one zero I think it was six one zero and it continues on and we want the answer to one decimal place so write it as eighteen point six okay and that's meters cubed that, that's that's meters sorry sorry I'm I'm reading the wrong <laughs> question we want the perimeter read the right part of the question we want the perimeter in meters to two decimal places so we have to actually round this as 18.61 18.61 and that's our answer so 18.61 is our answer uh, the one decimal places for the next question next part of the question so that's centimeters okay that is the length of the perimeter of this pond okay thank you now for part b We're told that there is a uniform depth of water in the pond of 1.5 meters. Find the volume of water in the pond in meters cubed to one decimal place. So first of all, we need to find, um, it's, it's like a prism. It's like a prism, which has a particular depth. So you've got this cross-sectional area, okay, something like that. And it's the shape of the pond, but it has a depth of 1.5 meters. So the cross-sectional area of the pond, okay, which is the area of the shaded part here, times 1.5 will tell me the volume. The volume of a prism, which this is, is a cross-sectional area times the depth, okay, how high it is, okay? So that's what we need to find. So first of all, we need to find the area. Okay, now the area is made up of um, two parts. You have the area of the sector plus the area of the triangle. Okay, the area of the sector is a half times r squared times theta and the area of this triangle okay is going to be given by um, a half times r squared times the sine of well it's going to be this angle here is if we call this angle here this angle here theta then this is going to be 2 pi minus theta so this is going to be basically 2 pi minus theta okay this is 2 pi minus the angle okay that we're given so this is 2 pi minus theta and this will be theta that will give us the area of the whole of this shape because you have the sector plus the triangle okay so you're going to have a half times 3 squared times 2 pi minus 1.25 plus a half times r squared which is 3 squared a half times 3 squared times the sine of 1.25 that will give me the area of the triangle okay that will be the area of the shape so we're going to have take the calculator we have a half times 3 squared times 2 pi minus 1.25 plus a half times 3 squared times the sine of 1.25 just confirm that's in radians yes it is and that will give me 26.9197 26.9197 so therefore the volume it's going to be this times its depth of 1.5 meters so 26.9197 
times, let me just confirm it is 1.5, yes it is, times 1.5, so that will be the volume and it will be in meters cubed. So mu multiply by 1.5 and you get 40.379, 40 40.379, uh, which we have to round to one decimal place, so it will be 40.4. So the volume is 40.4 meters cubed. And there we have the answer to this whole question. Thank you for watching.